Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another unboxing series episode here in the workshop. Today we have Hot Toys Death Trooper Black Chrome Edition. As you can see here are the credits on the back of the box. And we have the Death Trooper on the side of the band and the Death Trooper on the front. Again, multiple pictures of the figure on the band and on the front of the box. Now this is my first Death Trooper. I did not pick up any of the previous ones because I wasn't collecting it at that time. I could have gone backwards, but I decided not to. And when this guy came out, I decided, yes, let's pick this guy up. Now taking the top cover off the box, we get another photo of two Death Troopers. As you can see them in tandem, if you chose to collect that way. And then taking off the front cover, we also reveal the figure himself and the assortment of things he comes with. So let's take it out of the box the rest of the way and see what he looks like. Here he is outside of the box, all plastic removed. And this guy is super shiny. He has that chrome look to him. Now, depending on which lighting you have him in, he may look a little bit brown in his coloring, or he just may come up as a flat black with shiny components. I wish I had someone to compare it to, but I do not. But overall, this figure is pretty good. I am happy he's in the collection. I'm not too happy with all the fingerprints that come along with this guy, but that is a chrome figure for you. But as we like to start out these videos now, we will start with a 10 and work our way down. So let's put that 10 up there and we will go over this figure. Again, you do get fingerprints on this guy. It's not, it's unavoidable. I mean, unless you're rubbing alcohol on your hands and getting off all the, all the oils on your, natural oils on your hands, you're going to get fingerprints on this guy, which isn't a huge deal, but doesn't really warrant a minus in points because you should already know that coming into it. So I will not to subtract any points for the fact that fingerprints are left on this figure. Again, overall, he's really good. He stands pretty well. He has a very good presence. I like the way he, he looks. I like the way he's, he's uh, presented from the film itself, from previous Death Troopers. But with all that presence that he has, there is one thing that is lacking, and that is posability. I couldn't get him to lift his legs very much. He was a very, very stiff figure. At least my particular figure. It was a warm day out, so his joints should be a little bit looser. So I, I can't say that it was because it was cold and, you know, plastic and cold don't mix. But aesthetically, he's very pleasing to the eye. But I cannot go much further without saying that he's not very poseable. And in that, he will minus one point. But I am going to let this guy do some talking because uh, he is very... A very good looking figure and after I do some some quick panning we'll go on to the accessories
And here's everything that he comes with. He comes with an array of hands. Nine in total. The SC-14R uh, blaster pistol and the E-110 and a just typical base. But starting off with the hands. Here is the open hand again, Hot Toys. Does a fantastic job with hands. Um, here's that gold, oh, sorry. Fantastic job with hands. Here's that bronze look. Oh, see, fingerprints. See that bronze look we were referring to, I was referring to earlier, that if you see them and if you catch it in the right light, it looks very bronze or brass. It looks very bronze or brassy, if you will. There's that, that chocolate look, if you will. The chocolate chrome. But yeah, overall, they, they look really good. The gloved hands are always... Uh, they're really very well done hands by Hot Toys. I rarely complain about hands. Here's a signaling hand, an open hand, another open hand. It's pretty good. And here is... Uh, Grasping hand, if you will. Something to hold with. Whatever he has in his hands at the time. Not that he comes with a whole lot. And then two trigger hands. One for the left, one for the right. And still in that black chrome. Again, see you can see that light, that brownish color that comes off of it. That's what a lot of collectors are saying now. And, and a lot of people are noticing right now. Even in uh, blogger photos. Or not blogger photos, but other reviews you can see it. And then three fists. I'm not sure why there's three fists, but you get two lefts and one right. Um, yeah, not sure why there's an odd amount of fists, but there is. I get an extra one. I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty good. Hot Toys, I'm always impressed with your hands, man. Can't complain one bit. And then here is the... The SE-14 blaster rifle, or blaster pistol, rather. Again, painted very well. It's got that, that silver brushing on it to make it look metallic and worn. Um, I always wish there was, like, a see-through scope one of these days. That'd be kind of cool. I know it's kind of small and be difficult to do, but it'd be kind of cool to see one of these days. But yeah, pretty good. I love the paint on that one. And then here's the E-110. Blaster rifle, which you get with um, standard issue for uh, a death trooper, it is a modified E11. Uh, you get the strap and then the magazine there. Scope. The uh, does extend. Yeah, really good job. The paint, the red that's in there, that's supposed to be in there. Yeah, you get the weathering again. Or the silver polish on it yeah really really cool again this is my first death trooper so and then the boring base <laughs> it's it's got that uh, nice gloss over it, kind of like he does which is a, a nice touch i guess for this guy and uh, yeah and the stand or a crotch grabber which i do recommend using if you're going to be putting this guy anywhere it's like the first figure that I know of that I would recommend this because you don't want him falling over in your case you don't want him falling down and scratching because of that chrome it's it's hard to repair in my opinion so you definitely want to use the base but uh, let's go into some poses now here I got this one just walking and then uh, like he's on patrol He's halting his command, you know, his buddies behind him. Halt, there's something ahead, kind of thing. It's just a quick one. It was the first thing I could think of. Again, there's not a whole lot of mobility to this guy, which really, really sucks. Because you would like to get him into, into some positions like he's fighting, but um, the legs for sure do not offer that. At least with this particular figure. But he's really cool. He's really he's got a lot of presence. So far we've only minus one point off this guy, which is surprising. He's really cool. Um but yeah, getting him into poses. I think I might have to I think I might have to bring him down again, you know? At least half a point, you know. I don't know. 
don't feel free to let me know what your score is down in the comment section down below as well. You guys can score these things too. I'm perfectly cool with that. It's good to know other people's opinions as well. Here's another pose. Just It's again kind of like the straight legged. I couldn't get his legs to move. It was the weirdest thing. I couldn't get his legs to move to where I wanted him to. I felt like I was going to break him. He's very, again, he's very, very stiff. I'm not sure if the other Death Troopers are like that, but this one certainly is. And maybe I was just trying to be careful because of the chrome plating. I don't know. But yeah, he was very immobile. <laughs> and for the, actually that, I will actually minus another half a point for that. So we'll bring him down to 8.5. And just bringing him in for closer looks. I mean, he looks good. Looks damn good. I like this. Very cool. And here he is with Moff Gideon. Again, really, really cool. And yeah, I'm not complaining at all. Except for those minor immobility issues. There he is. He looks really cool next to Vader. I think I'm going to put this on the shelf with him because, oh man, damn, he looks good. But what do you all think? Do you think he looks good with Vader? I think he does. But to bring this one to a close, a really good figure. He scored an 8.5 overall. Again, it's the only Death Trooper I have. I'm sorry, I don't have a comparison. But yeah, really, really cool next to Vader. I like it a lot. And it all depends on the lighting that you use to get that color, that brown color to come out. It all depends on your lighting, I think. But that'll do it for me. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, always be kind, and we will catch you on the next one. The rebels that are left to our prisons. You have failed me for the last time.